name is Jessica Gaddisman. I did a five-year dual degree program at Northwestern in music performance for violin and political science with a minor in global health. After graduation, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to go into, but I knew that I wanted to do something on the international scale and to gain some skills between graduation and grad school in terms of working for a couple of years. So I moved to DC to do an internship studying terrorism. It was a program called START. Um, it was the study of terrorism and responses to terrorism, and it was a center of excellence from the Department of Homeland Security. Um, and I was interested in it. I actually, some of the work I did had to do with studying mediation, um, having to do with global health. And so it was really interesting because I could kind of pull in some of those global health skills and gain some real analytical skills at the same time that helped me get the job that I had that had more to do with global health. Um, and then switched to San Francisco to start working in hospital finance doing consulting for a number of hospitals across the U.S. Um, at a consulting firm called Triage Consulting Group. I think global health really helped in the sense of giving me a much broader idea of the problems that are going on in the world and because global health has to do with every situation. There's no really, whether you're studying terrorism or hospital finance, or just something very broadly public policy related as, as I did in undergrad for political science or even music. I mean, public health goes into that in some way and I think it gives you a set of skills and a background that becomes very useful in learning how to analyze a situation, um, how to just put together a thought process um, in any part of, of the world and how to use that to solve other types of problems. And the first time was in South Africa and did the Global Health Program and it actually influenced me a lot um, and not in the way that I necessarily expected when I went and I had thought at the time that I was pretty interested in pre-med, was still kind of going back and forth and found when I went to South Africa that I didn't especially like the time that I spent actually in the clinics. Something about it didn't really appeal to me. But much to my surprise, what I really enjoyed was kind of the larger political framework of what was going on that made those health issues what they were. And so when I got back from South Africa, I declared my other major in political science and realized that that was the route that I wanted to go. And what I learned in South Africa, kind of looking at that from a more macro perspective than just a particular clinic, but kind of figuring out why this clinic, which is five miles away from this other clinic, has no, they're not doing anything together. And there are tons of NGOs, but how come they don't have a program that really fits it together? What, what's breaking down in this organization? That led me to political science, which led me to consulting and looking at kind of these macro issues, whether it was specifically global health or not second time was Paris. My mentees were both juniors um, involved in uh, thinking about pre-med but also still looking at other options. Um, really working with a lot of people, well not a lot of people, with two people. <laughs> um, my mentees were also really interested in finding out what other options are out there and not just focusing on necessarily going into something clinical, but wondering what else is even an option. And so it was really nice to talk about that from the perspective of doing something that wasn't, wasn't specifically clinical related, as I learned in South Africa was not what I really wanted to do. And so we talked a lot about, well, obviously resume skills, the importance of networking. Um, using the alumni network at Northwestern was something that really helped me in DC a lot, um, just in terms of finding out what really is out there and what do people like about their jobs. And I think you know that was helpful. Also giving some advice, since they're studying abroad in South Africa now, um, just some general advice on kind of breaking away from the American mold and not just staying in the, the comfort of the group environment, but trying to break out and meet more um, of the South Africans, especially the other students on campus. 
I think what was helpful for the mentees was on a couple different levels. Um, the first of them being, again, answering that question, what else is out there besides pre-med? And how can I use these skills and these pre-med skills and all the other things that I'm interested in Northwestern and putting them together into something that focuses on those skills, whether it's specifically going into something more policy related or maybe actually validating that choice to go into medicine. And I think it was, it was really helpful to them to kind of get an idea of, especially as you're going abroad, since that's required for the global health minor, what do you want to get out of that? And kind of helping them to put together a list of what are their expectations that they want to get out of that. And that's something that I wish I had done more of when I went abroad and just kind of laying that out beforehand. What do I really want to get out of this so that you can actually, you really maximize your time while you're there. First of all, reassure them that they will find something and there are a lot of options out there and you don't have to get stuck in one thing. It's, you know, people change their careers and kind of, there are many different ways to get to an eventual ideal, whether you know that ideal now or not. And so it was nice to kind of share that, also share some thoughts on getting started early and looking for careers and how to start to build a network. Um, it's something that Northwestern talks about, but it's really nice when it's more specific to your field and you can start building that. Okay, one life lesson that I've learned is that you don't have to start your career with the perfect job. And what's really more important than being in the ideal place is being in a place where you're getting real skills, where you're building a community, building a network, um, and getting something out of it that you can use as you move forward.